I take you back to 1962 when a brash, bold America was furious with Cuba for that revolution thing and for having better fruit dancers than us and, and for Fidel Castro's beard, which we were wholly uncomfortable with. You know, it was kind of a cross between ZZ Top and Gimli Sun and Glowin. And, you know, with, with that facial hair combination, you never know what's going to go down. It could be gifts and candies or it could be a battle axe to the forehead. You know, no. I'm just saying, in a certain light, Santa Claus and Osama bin Laden are twinsies. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, in 1962, the U.S. desperately wanted a pretense to invade Cuba. Documents which were only made public in 1997 show that the Department of Defense and the Joint Chiefs of Staff signed off on something called Operation Northwoods, a group of proposals that called for the CIA to commit acts of terrorism in U.S. cities and on U.S. military ships that would be blamed on Castro's Cuba, thereby justifying a U.S. invasion. The term for this type of scenario is a false flag, although I call it, are you out of your mind? <laughs> which, which is also what President John F. Kennedy called it. He refused to sign off on it, which made the Joint Chiefs of Staff exceedingly grumpy. And it's a funny thing about guys who are willing to blow up their own citizens. You don't want to see them grumpy. <laughs> I know.